Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm just going to quickly give you a brief look at some of the other ways you can make money online other than reselling. Um, so there is so many different ways you can make money online. I'm not going to go through them all. I've got a list of 10 here, but I'm not going to do all 10. I just sort of wrote 10 down that I have actually done. Um, and sort of go from there basically. Just We'll go from there. So... Uh, number one I'm going to talk about is Google AdSense. Google AdSense, um, you can make money on your website, you make money on YouTube, um, and what you can do to make money on your website is input the ads, input the HTML code of the ads into your HTML of your website, and then an advert will pop up where you've chosen to display it. And, you know, if you've got a fair few views, or you've got a few views coming through, then you will get paid on a cost per click basis, which means when someone clicks on that advertisement, you will get paid a set amount. This varies depend on de dependent on your niche. So if you're in like the insurance niche or something like that, that is quite a high paying niche. So you'll get a really good cost per click. Um, but if you're in something like um, make money online or make money on eBay or all that sort of stuff, Unfortunately, that's quite a low paying niche, so you'll get a very low cost per click. So you'll get a very low earnings per click ratio sort of thing. So um, with Google AdSense, you've got to think more long term, I feel. Um, if you've not got a, a big audience, then it's not going to take off for you. It's not really going to be anything like amazing, but... If you look at your future project projections for your website or future projections for your YouTube channel, then you can maybe think, is this going to be a long-term thing? Is it going to be better in the long term for me? Is it going to be worth it? And all that sort of stuff. So um, I think with Google AdSense, the way I look at it anyway, it's more of a long-term thing rather than... Uh, making any real money in the short term. I mean, at the moment, I'm making like 20, 30 quid a month, which is, it's. I mean, it's a nice little bit of extra money to have, and I, I, I'd rather have it than not have it. But um, I, I look at it more like, well, five, ten years down the line, that could be something a little bit better. Um, so that's sort of the way I look at it, and put the work in now and keep grinding away, um, and then it will become something fairly substantial. Um so, Google AdSense, that's definitely one. Video marketing, I've also wrote down to tie in with that. Um, affiliate marketing, you know those little links I have below my, um, well, below the video in the description, the little Amazon links. What affiliate marketing is, um, basically, Amazon will give you maybe a set up an account with Amazon Associates, or there are many other um, associate networks, ClickBank, Commission Junction, that sort of stuff. But we'll just go with Amazon Associates to make it easy. So, um, say you set up an account with Amazon Associates, then um, you can then type in any product in the little search bar, search for the product, you can then get the link, and what, what uh, Amazon Associates does is it creates your personal link with your little tag in, so that then when you maybe post it on a blog, or you maybe put it on a website, you're on, on your website, or you put it down below a video. When someone clicks on that link and gets taken to that Amazon product page and maybe buys the product, Amazon know to give you a small commission because in your link you've got that little tag there. So that's what um, affiliate marketing is. It's basically where Amazon will pay you a small percentage or a small commission. Um, to basically advertise their, or maybe not their products, but their product pages. Um, and, and as I say, I mean, the commission is pretty poor. I think it's been, for me, like between 4 to 10%. But, you know, it's something anyway. Very easy to set up. Um, and obviously, if you have a YouTube channel, you just, what you can do is you can, in your upload defaults, you have upload defaults on YouTube, which is where you can set, like, an automated description for every video. Um, you can post those links in that automated description for every video and then you don't need to touch it so it's sort of automate you know the the income is automated in some way um so yeah uh, amazon affiliates nice and easy to set up if you've got a youtube channel website blog um you can make some money with it that way and it is sort of automated as well to some extent or passive um 
So next is stocks and shares. I don't want to read too much into stocks and shares because, or, or talk about it too much with you guys because I am I'm no way near qualified enough to talk about it in any great detail. But what I would say is um, if you're thinking of investing, make sure you look at the companies in detail. Uh, type in Google something like uh, uh, online stockbrokers or whatever, something, something, you know, something like that, online stockbrokers and um, maybe go for, read through and see what they have to offer and choose the best online stockbroker for you. What you will need an online stockbroker to be able to trade, or you can, I, I don't know, you might be able to still do it through, you know, the phone or walking into a bank and asking about their stocks and shares and all that sort of stuff, but most people do it online now. So get yourself an online broker, make sure you, um, you know all about the commissions they charge and the fees, um, and then set about doing your research on companies. Do a hell of a lot of research. Do look at their uh, annual report, look at their financials, like your income statement, your balance sheet, your cash flow. Uh, look on Yahoo Finance and look at PE ratio. Um, look at your, maybe your dividend yield if they give out dividends. Um, look at your earnings per share and all, all that sort of stuff. Look at the charts and maybe learn how to read a, a, a stock chart and see, you know, where do you think it's going? Maybe read about the company's history. When were we founded? You know, who's their current CEO? Look on YouTube. Look at videos about them. Just everything you can. Just soak up all this knowledge. And um, and, and that, would, that would be what I would suggest. And then think about investing. Um, but be cautious with that one. And... Um, I wouldn't invest a ton of money to begin with, but you do need to invest a certain amount of money so that then the brokerage charges are actually worth it. Um, but yeah, so so that's that one anyway. Um, we've got things like social media marketing, so make, making money off that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, those sorts of sites. Um, and basically, I, I did this one for a while. I actually built up 50,000 followers um, in the time I was doing it. Uh, my friend's um, sister, she does it full-time now. She's full-time social media marketing. She has millions of followers on Twitter, and uh, she's made some really good money out of it. So um, it's certainly worth a look. There's sites out there that are like the middlemen. So you have the advertisers wanting to advertise on your account because you've got a load of followers, say, right, on Twitter. And... The advertisers want to advertise in front of your followers, right? Um, so you'll have a load of different sites that are set up, like sponsored tweets, uh, web tweet, mo uh, tweet mob, uh, my likes, things like that. That act as the middlemen between the advertiser and the publisher. The publisher is you. So um, on this site, you can uh, join these sites, and then they will give you advertisers opportunities, and then you can. You can choose those opportunities, choose to do those opportunities, um, and then what you do is you just tweet out uh, a specific message that the advertiser has said for you to tweet out, um, and then you'll get paid like, uh, it depends on your followers, but like if you've got millions of followers, you can get like a hundred quid for just one tweet or even more, but you're not going to be at that level. So, you, and the thing with social media marketing is you know, you have to know how to build it up in the right way. Because if you just build it up and follow a load of people and expect a load of people to follow you back, then for one, you might get a load of dead accounts, which are uh, like people who aren't, you know, like fake accounts, things like that. Or maybe inactive accounts. You've got to have active followers so that then there's people going to be a actually clicking on your links, on the advertiser's links. So... Uh, the other way you can make money with Facebook and Twitter tied into affiliate marketing is um, obviously by promoting your affiliate links, the affiliate products from Amazon on your Facebook and Twitter. So that's another way to tie in affiliate marketing with social media marketing. But again, you know, search those things on Google, sponsored tweet, my like, web tweet, that sort of stuff. And uh, you will find, you know, these sites that are set up. Um, that are dedicated to sort of connecting Twitter users with good amount of followers to the advertisers. You get a bit of money for it, the middleman gets the money for it, the advertiser gets their product or whatever promoted on your account. 
but you, that one's going to take time. You're going to have to build up your, your, your rapport with your followers. You're going to have to build up your followers. You're going to have to learn on YouTube how to uh, build up your followers in the correct way. Learn, you know, there's paid courses out there and stuff. Um, but you're going to have to do your research again on that one. Um, I'm going to blast through these next few. So we've got competitions, maybe earning cash prizes for competitions, maybe tangible items, electronics, food, you know, things like that. You might not always earn money with it, but you're going to earn prizes with it that may be able to be sold for money. So, uh, and the, the one with competitions is, again, it's a grind. You've got to do it every day, every day. I didn't do it for very long. I was very unsuccessful at it. I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. Um, I'm quite happy to say that. You know, it just wasn't something for me. So, um, but, yeah, you need to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Um, enter as many competitions as you can each day. And then check your email, set up a new email account for the competitions, and so that then you know that all the competition entries, uh, all the competition wins are going to come to one email. Um, and, and yeah, just keep grinding away with it. Go on a site called Competition Database, and you'll see all the competitions, you know, all in one place, and then you can uh, click through them. Uh, surveys, making money with surveys. Something I feel is good for. Uh, university students or college students, I really feel it's good for, for those sort of people because, for one, you don't earn a massive amount of money from it. So it's not really for people who don't want to earn, uh, you know, you know, who are earning a lot more, uh, a lot higher hourly rate. You're probably going to be lucky to earn about £5 an hour with surveys, depending on what sort of survey site you go with. I like Opinion Outpost, a site called Opinion Outpost, and um, me and my friend Ryan, when we were 17, 18, um, again, we were in college then, and um, yeah, we, we earned some good money with it. We earned, uh, Over about two or three weeks, we earned well over £100 each, and that was just after college, you know, a little bit, doing a little bit each day, and some days would even skip, so... Yeah, you can earn some good money with it. We stopped after a while because we just didn't have the persistence or the dedication to do it. So, uh, but but yeah, that is definitely a good one. Oh, got a new offer, forty quid now. No, I'm not taking that. Um, so yeah, surveys. That's a good one. Again, I would say it's more for for the younger people who don't mind getting a little bit of a uh, less hourly rate because you're not get you know you're not on an amazing hourly rate with surveys. Um, product testing again. It's it's not really pet you can get paid for it there are sites you can get paid for it but there's a site called buzz agent b z z agent um and you basically answer a few questionnaires and stuff on the site and you will get paid uh, no you won't get paid sorry you will get uh, picked you may get picked or shortlisted to receive uh, a certain product i've got uh crisps from there before i've got hair gel i've got Loads of different bits and bobs. I didn't do it for, I think I did it for about a year and I got maybe five or six different products. So you have to keep checking it again and, and like s seeing new campaigns and stuff. You're not going to get a ton of products every year. But um, maybe if you just want to do it for a bit of fun because it, it is quite fun just to do it. Um, now I don't know whether you can actually sell the products once you receive them. Now you get to keep them. Um, I would assume you can get to sell, you know, you, you can sell them after you've done your review. What you have to do basically, when they get, send out your product, if you've been like picked to to be sent a product, you have to use it or you have to like at least sort of uh, pretend you've used it and then, um, and then you have to write a review on it. I, I suspect a lot of people pretend to use it, especially if it's something, something half decent and then we want to sell it on. Um, but yeah, I just used all of mine because for one it was crisps and I was like, yeah, I'm having them. And then for two it was hair gel, so I thought, yeah, I'll use that. So and then I, and then I wrote a review on the site. I think it's like it's not a mega long review or anything. It has to be like 300 words, which is like less than a page. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I mean, it's not the best, you know. It's something just for a bit of fun, really, more more so than to earn income from. Um, and then also we've got offline options I've put. And that's just things like dog walking, 
uh, window cleaning, babysitting, washing people's cars, mowing, pe mowing people's lawns. Again, it's probably more suited to teenagers, younger people. Um, but if you've got a bit of spare spare time, why not do a bit of window cleaning or something uh, on the side, you know, for your business? Um, but yeah, the offline options is, is one that people seem to ignore quite a bit. Everyone seems to be all about making money online and they, they forget about the traditional methods. Um, but yeah, there's you know hundreds of on offline methods. Um, I remember I used to sell sweets in school. I used to have a little stall at the bottom of my drive for a while when I was like eight, um, and I was selling crisps on the bottom of the drive. I was serious. I was very young, um, and I used to sell. I used to stand there at the bottom of the, uh, actually sit down on the bottom of the drive with my little table, and and sell stuff there like packets of crisps and that that I'd bought. Well, my mum had bought for me, and then I'd sell on. Um, but yeah, so. It, yeah, there's loads of different offline option, options. There's so much more, and there's so much more I could have said, but I didn't want this video dragging on forever. Um, if you want any more in-depth help with these uh, with these methods, if you can't find on Google anything, or you know you're struggling, because I know I haven't given out the most amount of information, um, but I thought that uh, you know I wanted to keep it a bit short. This video, I didn't want it you know, being an hour or two. So if you want any more help, please visit me over on my Facebook page and just send me a message, shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help you with them and point you in the right direction. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll just help where I can really. Some things I might not be able to help that, that much on, but I'm sure I can point you in the direction of some help. So yeah, I'll leave it there, there guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also I want to say... Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers because I've had a big surge in subscribers over the last few days. I think I've been getting about 10 a day for the last 5 days, which is ridiculous. So thank you for, uh, to all the new people who have subscribed. Welcome to the channel as well. And all that's left to say now is bye. So I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.